Lambert might have ditched her platinum ring, but the recently divorced country stunner now has some platinum blonde locks. She says, what doesn't kill you only makes you blonder, which of course must be referring to the devastating split she just went through with ex-husband Blake Shelton. According to the New York Times, page six, she jumped back on stage two days after announcing the divorce. She's really trying to get back to normal, and I think being on stage is part of that. A little makeover never hurt anyone either. As you can tell, Miranda's hair used to be a few shades darker. But speaking of finding the light, she's been keeping busy with music and girlfriends, even saying thank you Jesus for girlfriends and coffee and concealer. Miranda better get those girlfriend dates in while she can, because after posting pictures like this, the men are going to start lining up. Celebrities were battling between red and black on the red carpet this week with Lake Bell taking the lead in a sexy V-neck bodycon midi dress for the premiere of No Escape. Joining her in the red corner was Dancing with the Stars, Karina Smirnoff in a ballroom-worthy flamenco-style number. And actress Bridget Reagan, who went for a shocking shade of vermilion at the Hand of God premiere. But giving the ladies in red some competition over in the black corner was Kristen Stewart, who rocked a tiny black sequin jumpsuit for the premiere of her new movie, American Ultra. Proving Donald Trump wrong, veteran supermodel Heidi Klum showed off her fabulous figure in a skin-tight strapless LBD for the America's Got Talent post-show party. And married lady Jennifer Aniston, who combined Mind, sexy and sophisticated in a black jumpsuit. Emma Watson will soon be gracing our screen in the twisted thriller Regression, so before its release, we're getting a taste for this British beauty's style. Emma has mastered airport dressing. She went monochromatic on these two occasions, pairing some comfy pants with a long sleeve top. With carry on and some sunglasses, she is ready to roll. This lady is influential in more ways than her wardrobe and is featured on this year's Time 100 list. The pioneer launched a UN campaign for gender equality and looked great at the Time 100 gala where she received some well-deserved recognition for her efforts. Emma was an elegant vision at the NOAA premiere in this flowing white dress, with the classic updo putting the dress's neckline on display. Emma isn't afraid to wear trousers and looked great in this off-the-shoulder top. The beauty opted for a minimal color palette, allowing the sparkly details to shine through. We're looking forward to seeing what classic looks this beauty has in store. Zac Efron and Emily Ratajkowski were red carpet ready as they appeared side by side to promote their latest film, We Are Your Friends, in LA. Zac stars as a DJ who was attempting to find fame and fortune. For the premiere, Zac went for a suited look. He paired a subtly patterned navy blazer with a t-shirt and some pants and added on some smartly laced shoes. Emily Ratajkowski plays Zac's love interest in the film. The beautiful brunette showcased her stunning figure in a Grecian-style dress. Her floor-length gown featured a plunging neckline and a thigh-high split to show even more skin. We Are Your Friends is in cinema suit. We spotted Olivia Wilde at a Los Angeles airport looking gorgeous, and recently she talked to Elle magazine about how she's embracing the aging process. The actress opened up about her past and her future, and she looks forward to her 40s. I find that most of the women that I really look up to, both women I know personally and women I admire from afar, are in their 40s, the 31-year-old actress said. So now my 30s seem like this great opportunity to develop the experience and wisdom that will allow me to have an even greater decade in my 40s, she says. Olivia, who is currently engaged to Jason Sudeikis and has a one-year-old son, also reflected on her eight-year marriage to Italian filmmaker Tower Spoli. It wasn't until after their divorce when she was 27 that Olivia felt she finally started her career and her life changed. She says at the end of your 20s, you realize you are inherently flawed, and that's great and what makes you dynamic. We think Olivia is the epitome of aging gracefully.